welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna, ooh, y'all, it's bright out. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I do a bleach bath. So my main issue is I wanna get rid of the toner. It's not my first time doing a bleach bath. So I'm gonna show you guys my process. I also wanna lighten up my quote unquote blonde because it's extremely orange. I'm not exactly sure how that happened because it was brighter before. I've already mixed together my little concoction, but I'm going to be adding a little bit of Olaplex number one to the mix. Ignore my nails, I'm getting them done today actually. I will also be using Olaplex number three after the fact, and I'm going to skip the Olaplex two today, which looking back, I probably should not have skipped it. For my bleach bath, my ingredients are 40 volume, half the pack of the blue powder, and then just a dash of the Olaplex. I did not measure anything out, I just literally threw everything in. And last but not least, shampoo. So what a lot of people don't realize is for a bleach bath, you're actually just mixing bleach, volume, and shampoo together. You mix it together really well. You can even rub it together with your hands and then you will lather it through your hair just like shampoo, as if you're washing your hair. Next up, I'm going to dampen my hair because you should have your hair damp before you start this process. The lighting in my bathroom is terrible, but this is what my hair looks like. I was doing a couple strand tests. My hair is so unbelievably strong right now because I've been using so many bond building. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what I was trying to do here, balance my camera on the mirror, thank goodness I stopped. Anyways, my hair is really strong because I've been using a lot of bond building hair products. Here I added a little bit more shampoo because I felt like it wasn't soapy enough. Now I'm just applying it to my entire head and saturating it, really getting it on the ends because my main goal was to brighten the blonde and to remove the dark toner at the front so that I could retone it dark again. After saturating my hair, I said I was going to leave it on for 15 minutes, but I kept on testing strands to see whether or not my hair could withstand that long. Ooh, my coffee's hot. So my hair was actually pretty strong all throughout, but then at the ends, it was very elastic. So all of that part of hair that you're seeing stretching right now, that inch is gone. I think that's maybe an inch and a half. When your hair starts doing that, it's guaranteed to break at some point in the near future. So from that point on, I knew for a fact I would not be able to leave the bleach on for 15 minutes. Here you can't see properly, but the toner was starting to turn red and a little bit of my root was starting to turn red as well. This is what it looks like at the back. After a couple minutes, the bleach was really starting to turn my hair that banana yellow, which is great when you're trying to lighten your hair. <laughs> Gotta put those glasses on because I could not see. <laughs> so as you can see, only I think six minutes went by and I decided to just go ahead and prepare to start washing my hair because it wasn't looking good. Looking back in hindsight, I wish that I had left it on longer because the toner didn't come out, the blonde didn't really get that bright and I've never had such poor results from a bleach bath before. My hair is also extremely orange, which I wasn't expecting because I didn't realize I had so much new growth. And you know when you bleach black hair, the first stage is orange. So I was furious. Anyways, moving on, I'm using Wella 050 and T14 and a 10 volume to tone the blonde in my hair. Once again, I didn't measure anything. I just mixed it together, saturated it all throughout my hair, did not put enough at the back. As you can see, the orange where I needed it most is still dry. This was just a fail, guys, okay? And to tone the roots, I have dark ash brown and medium ash brown. I went with the medium because dark just tones your hair completely black, but I wanted a little bit of a lighter color. 
should have went with the dark because I accidentally put a lot of the light blonde toner at the front of my hair and when you mix that with the medium ash brown it's not going to give you the desired results and I already knew from the beginning this wasn't going to work out because I knew but I was being stubborn and I just thought you know what if it doesn't work then I can just do it again <laughs> but you can see I already knew how this was going to end decided to leave it on for about half an hour to 40 minutes and you guys can see here well actually you can't see that clearly but it was still very red at the front of my hair so had to go in again mix up another batch of dark toner and try again so please forgive me but i completely forgot to record the end result but this was me on my way to the gym you can see what my hair looks like it's very blonde yellow goldilocks blonde just taking it out of my stiff ponytail <laughs> i had so much product in my hair so i completely forgot a very important step which was to brush the dark toner down to create an ombre so as you can see it just stops very blunt which is part of the reason why i decided to remove the toner last time so it's kind of like i did this entire thing for no reason but here we are <laughs> I can be honest, I can admit that the results are shockingly terrible and that's okay because I'm probably going to do it again in about a month. But in terms of showing you guys how to do a bleach bath, I hope that this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Last time I did the bleach bath, my hair went completely blonde, but that's because my hair was healthier and I left it on longer. So for better results, leave it on for at least 15 minutes. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.